Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be planning the week of July 6th through the 12th using this kit. It's 149 from Planner Kate and it is a flamingo theme and I love flamingo. Well, I don't actually really care for the bird itself. I just love flamingo pattern anything basically. So as soon as I saw this kit, I knew I wanted to purchase it. And I usually don't purchase this many add-ons, but again, since I just love the flamingo pattern, I decided to get more add-ons than I normally do. And let's see, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I don't think this kit is actually available anymore just because I, I know I purchased it last year. Probably It might have been on sale, I'm not sure. Um, but it may not be available anymore. So I do apologize for that, but you can always go to her website and try. Since this is an older version of the kit, you may be able to find it in her um, sale section. She usually puts older versions of the kits in the sale section. Um, typically the sampler, so like this, this page sells out first, but you may get lucky and find one. Okay, oops, so sorry, I need to turn this to get this lined up. So what I like to do, if you notice, the edges of Planner Kate's sheets are rounded. And so since this washi is rounded in the corner, I like to put those rounded corners on the edge of the week. Uh, and then this side, although the pattern is actually rounded as well, I just have it cut off straight. Um... It doesn't really bother me, but I'd rather have the rounded edges on the outside rather than the inside. So, I think I'll line this up. Oh, that's weird. They're not cut evenly. That's so strange. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Huh. Well, that's annoying. Oh, well. Like I said, I don't think I've ever had that before where... One of the strips is thicker than the other. But again, since I want kind of want, I don't know if that bothers me more than the rounded edge or not. Huh. Oh well, well I'll have a weekend banner there, so. That's disappointing, I was so excited for this kit. Okay, so speaking of the weekend banner. Probably that kind of distracts from that. Okay, so up next is this washi down here. And I'm just going to cover up this bottom part. And I typically write checklists or to-do lists down here. But again, since I did purchase this add-on, I'm just going to cover it so we have more flamingos. Okay, that fits really well. I like how that looks. So this is empty. And then you can put these strip headers. Actually, what I'm going to do, because this really is kind of bothering me, actually. I'm going to kind of scooch it up to line it up with that. So when I put my strip header down... It covers it up and makes it even. Okay, I'm happy now. So I'm just gonna grab my tweezers. I forgot to take them out before I made the video, but I always forget the date. So I'm just gonna quickly take this first one, which is Monday, put it there. Okay, so this strip is a little bit wider than the date itself because these strips are actually made, I believe, made for the vertical planner, which has slightly different measurements than the hourly, but that's okay. So I'm going to quickly finish putting these date dots down, or date squares, I guess, and then this sheet... I will actually save. So whenever I have date dots from a kit and they're solid color, so all the numbers are the same, 
I will save it because I can use it for another week. Like for example, this is just blue that'll match with another week. But if the date dots are different colors, like if they have it, like for example, if she did like blue, pink, blue, pink, I usually don't save those because it's pretty unlikely. Although this color combination is pretty popular, but typically that color combination, I'm not going to be able to find another kit that works for it. So, so moving on to the sidebar. So this is the sidebar add-on that she has. And I would tell you the exact numbers, but she actually, since this kit was made, she actually re-ordered uh, or re vamped her add-on so this letter right here will not be, most likely not be the same so i'm sorry about that so let's see i don't know if i want to put it all the way at the bottom let's see no so i'm just going to line it up with this line here so it's not quite all the way at the bottom but oh actually that matches where this ends up really closely so i'm happy about that so then I'll put this week's header right here. I typically typically track my dinners in this corner. And then I'll put a to-do list. And then the header. Oh, it's going kind of crooked. Hopefully this works out. Oh, that's not high enough at all. Is it? Darn it. Okay. Well, I guess I should have gone from the top. I think, luckily, Planner Kate stickers are removable. So this sheet is empty. I'm just going to throw that away and then pull out my whiteout. So I can't, sorry for spinning the planner so much, but I need to white out the edges and then how much. So basically here, oops. And then just one strip. Okay. So you, I mean, you can see through the sticker a little bit, but that really doesn't bother me, the shadowing behind it. So good to know in the future for Planner Kate, whenever I get the sidebar add-on, which I don't always get the sidebar add-on, but when I do, I need to work from the top down instead of the bottom up. So I'm just gonna shift all these stickers. So like I said, luckily, Planner Kate stickers are super removable, which is really nice because I usually manage to either put them on crooked or put them in the wrong spot or need to move things around. So I love when stickers are removable. But in case they're not, I, I still use undo from time to time. Okay, so that doesn't line up with the bottom anymore, but it still manages to cover the calendar in the bottom. And I like that it lines up at here, up here at least, so. Okay, so that's just the foundation that's down. Liking how that turned out. So let's start with Monday. And I'm just referencing like my to-do list here. This is a cleaning checklist that I got in a uh, seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren. However, I don't use it for cleaning. I just use it for normal to-dos. And I'm going to reference that as I go through here. So let's start with timed events first. So at one o'clock, a friend is defending her master's thesis, though so definitely going to attend that. 11 a.m. I have a meeting with my advisor. And then I actually have to get tested for COVID. I'm not showing any symptoms, but because I have a procedure coming up on Wednesday, which you'll see when I put down the plans, that this is like a precaution that they do before they admit me. Okay, so one o'clock. is Daisy's defense, okay? And then 250 is my COVID test, okay? And then 11, I have a meeting with Beth, who's my advisor. Okay. And then, 
Let's see, probably after this is when I'm going to clean. So, I don't know what I want to use for that checklist. So typically, here, I guess I'll do this. So this I'll use as like a header. So I'm not cleaning the whole house, but it'll still be like a header cleaning, a cleaning header. And then let's see, there's no cleaning icon, but there is a house icon. So I'll put that there and then let's see, these dots are kind of small. So I'm going to use these as a checklist. So for this week for cleaning, I'm going to oops, dust the surfaces and then sanitize them. Sanitize. Wow, okay. And then this morning, I actually need to call someone because because oh i need to call the doctor's office for last minute questions about my procedure and i was going to call today currently i'm filming july 3rd which is a friday completely forgot it's a it's july 4th is being observed today so the office is closed so okay so i need to call him or his office at least okay so that's all i had down from Monday. And so what I'm going to do actually is just fill in my habits. I don't know what that fourth one will be yet, but we'll see. Okay, so that's all I had for Monday. Moving on to Tuesday at one o'clock, which I'm going to use this one. I have my writing group which I've been having for the past couple of months. It's just some friends from school where we kind of hold each other accountable for what we need to be writing. Um, and then in the morning, I need to make a to-do list. So every Tuesday, again, I normally put it down here, but every Tuesday, I always have T-Mobile Tuesday, which if you your phone provider is T-Mobile, you get some free items every Tuesday, and I like to check in to see if I'll be using any of them. And then also new Sporkle badges come out that day, which is a trivia website that I like to play. So I like to check what new badges come out. Okay. okay, that's typically all I do. So that's done with Tuesday. Wednesday is when I have my procedure. So I'm just going to use this one. And it starts at 10. So I'll just put that right there. And then this kit comes with a medical icon that I'll put right up top. And I don't know if this is TMI, but I actually have a colonoscopy slash endoscopy. Okay. And then I need to, every week I weigh in, so I'll do that for today. In the morning. And then at six o'clock this night, I need to start taking that gross drink. Well, I've heard it's gross. I haven't had it yet, but that drink. So that will be my reminder at six to start that. And then I have my procedure. And then I typically wash the towels or do the laundry on Wednesdays, but I'm not gonna do it before 
my procedure and I don't think I'm going to be in the mood to do it after or really in the mood to do anything afterwards. So I'm just going to put this full box here because I most likely will be sleeping and kind of relaxing after that. So, and then whatever is left in the afternoon. So the day after, I think that's when I'm going to do the towel. So I don't actually have anything planned for today. So I thought I had yet yeah, laundry day. Okay. I'm not going to start at 8 a.m., but I just want to put it in the morning because I can typically do other things while I'm doing the laundry. So I don't want to put it in the middle of the day when I actually will mark down what I'm doing. So let's make a checklist here because I need to do my towels. And then I'll also do whatever clothes for that week. And then I also have a package coming on Thursday. So there's no like package icon. So what I'm gonna do, pull out my binder here with icons. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna pull from there. Because I think I have some leftover package icons in my leftover. Yeah, I do. Okay. And I'd rather use these up first than use these. Okay, so which one? I think I'll use this one. Actually. I think this blue works really well. Okay, slightly off, but that's okay. So that's all I had for Thursday, Friday. Again, I have that writing group. Oh shoot, no I don't. Because we're leave some of people are leaving for vacation. Darn it. Oh well, just wasted the sticker. Totally forgot. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, and then so that's all for Friday. Don't have anything scheduled. Saturday is when I typically plan. So this has a planner time sticker that I'll put there. And then, or usually around this time, it's not for three hours, but I just like to use that big sticker when I Skype my parents. I'll just use the heart. I Skype them every Sunday. And then I believe it's a friend's birthday on the 7th. So let me just double check here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So Planner Kate has oops, this balloon icon. So I'll just put this here to remind me to call her. Okay, so I think that is all for now. So I'm just gonna look this over to see. I don't have any bills due. At some point, whenever we go to the grocery store, I'll use this sticker. I don't get paid this week. Maybe I'll just put this day off sticker up here. I don't really have the day off, but I know I won't be doing any work that day. So I'll just stick that up there. And then I think what I'll do actually. Mm. So at three o'clock, 
which is right here. No, because if my test is at 250, I'm not going to get back in time. So, yeah, I'm not going to write that because I'm not going to be back in time. And you typically have coding club, but that, again, that's a three. So, and since my appointment's at 250, I'm not going to be back in time. So I'm not going to write it because I know I'm not going to be able to attend. Okay, so that's all for this week, I believe. So this is what I have left over because I used these two sheets. So these will go in the garbage and then this will go in my planner leftover in my binder because I can always use these for a later date. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which sticker shop you are using this week in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.